Hello, welcome to Cable Plus Property, your number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed properties. My name is Oiza and at Cable Plus Property, our aim is to ensure that all Nigerians and non-Nigerians have at the tip of your finger every information related to land and landed properties. We provide you with all that you need to know about getting your property registered, land acquisition, land procurement, building construction, and even obtaining your planning permit. On this episode, I have the current national chairman of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria. She is a professional town planner. She is a professional town planner, and trust me, she's very beautiful. It's no other than town planner Bello Risikat. Join me. Town planner Mrs. Bela Risikat Bukola was born in Ita Akonyoluwale area of Lagos Island on the 17th of July 1966 to the family of Sonny Omotosho. She attended Igbaja Nosrian Primary School between 1972 to 1978 and Egbe Girls College, which is now in Kogi State, between 1978 and 1983. She had both her ordinary and higher national diploma in town planning from Kwara State Polytechnics between 1983 and 1989. Her master's degree in urban and regional planning was obtained from the Lagos State University, also known as LASU, in the year 1997 to 1998. She obtained certificates in environmental impact assess assessment in Saxion University of Applied Science, Netherlands in 2009. Town planner Mrs. Bello is a member of Rural Town Planning Institute UK, a member of Town Planners Registration Council, a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, and a member of the Nigerian Institute of Management. She is also a staff of the Lagos State Government as a director in the Physical Planning Department of the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development, Ikeja. It may interest you to know that town planner Mrs. Bello Risikat Bukola is the first and the current national chairman of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria. So join me as I welcome the beautiful town planner Mrs. Bello Risikat Bukola on the Cable Plus Property Show. Okay, hello ma'am, welcome to the show. It's so good to have you. I don't know why I'm so happy because you're a woman, I guess. <laughs> It's my pleasure to be here today with you. Mm, thank you so much for coming. So um, let's get started. As the chairman of, meanwhile, congratulations on your appointment as, is it elective or? Elective. Oh, on your election as the chairman of the Association of Women Templars in Nigeria. Thank you very much. So as the chairman, um, the viewers would like to know how the association was established and how you became the first woman chairman, the first chairman, I beg your pardon, and Mr. Others. Okay, thank you very much. Um, precisely on 7th February 2019, the current president then, Tamplana Esuta, see the need to have a women wing in the association. Mm. He now organized and create a coordinating team to organize women in town planning, to ensure women come together to achieve sustainable development mm. for the institute. During this period, uh, town planner Mrs. Babalola was the chairman of the coordinating team with other members. Permit me to list other members because they are very important. I have the list here. I have um, Tam Planner Ms. Babalola as National Coordinator, Tam Planner Aminat Salau, Tam Planner Faith Heyung, Tam Planner Vic Victoria Ade Niji, Tam Planner Adeneko, Tam Planner Anne Okune Okuyemi, Tam Planner Rekia Fach, Tam Planner Vivian Nwanga, Tam Planner Vit Nwakewe, Tam Planner Nwana Solomon. This team were able to put the association together. I mean, the women in the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners together, they were able to coordinate 
some of the states then and uh, they were able to, able to achieve success. At the end of the day, a committee was set up, Nine committee was set up as electoral member, which cons we, uh, the, the, as, uh, me, the, chair, the chairman of this co uh, as, um, committee. committee is um, Tamplana Mrs. Faith Ekwang. She was the chairman of this committee then. So the, with that, uh, an election was conducted. The election was conducted on 27th of October, 2021, wow. during the general election. I mean, during the general conference of the in Nigerian Institute of Town Planners in uh, Cross River State. That was last year. So as a result of this, I emerged the first national chairman oh. of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria. Congratulations which, again. Thank you very much. Wow, that's, that's a sweet story to tell. And, um, you know, kudos to the other women that, you know, helped you, uh, helped the team to coordinate all women in the Institute of Town Planners, Nigerian Institute of Town Planners. And you agree with me that um, it's high time women began to come forward to take up um, positions, especially in institutes like this. Okay, so um, what are the aims, the objectives, visions, and missions of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria? Okay, the aim of the association is to ensure women version of Nigerian Institute of Town Planners embrace sustainable development through gender empowerment. Mm. Then the objective are to promote and enhance the interests of women to enhance public awareness, to develop and maintain relationship with other women in other professional bodies, mm. and ensure we have a collaborative uh, means of relating with other professional bodies, and uh, as well as collaborate, collaboration with the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners as a whole, to empower girls and women to take up uh, time planning as a profession mm, that's and to fun. encourage them as well. So uh, what roles do you think women can play in uplifting the urban and regional planning profession in Nigeria? You know, I said earlier that it's high time women began to come forward, but then beyond us just coming forward, what exactly yes. are we coming forward to do, particularly in the urban and regional planning profession? Yes. Um, the role of women in urban and urban planning profession, like we have five or six core values that we need to enhance. If we can sustain these values, I think the, the presence of women will be felt in the environment. First of all, we have to be professional in whatever we are doing. We have to act professionally to ensure whatever role we are giving we address it professional, professionally, and we are guided by the rules. It's very important because a lot of things that is happening these days, you see that it's because we are not guided by the rule. Mm. Most people are just doing whatever they want. But when you are guided by the rule, you have a sustainable environment. Then you have to be inclusive. That is, we need to work as one big family. We need to embrace our male fashion of the profession, hmm. to work with them, to enhance their work, not to be, we, no, no one can be an island, we have to work together. Not to compete with them. We are not competing with them, we have to embrace them. We have to enhance whatever they are doing in our own capacity. And uh, again, uh, we need to work as a team. We need to uphold our integrity, it's very important. When you uphold your integrity in a society, people will respect you and uh, you will not be misguided because you will do things by the rules. And um, at the same time, we have to ensure we, we, we partner with other professional bodies because as a, a time, pla time planning is a teamwork. 
you, you cannot work alone. You have to partner with other professional bodies, both women professional body, then the, the main professional bodies. We have to work together to achieve a sustainable environment. Thank you very so much. How, can, how can one become a registered member of the association? Yes, thank you very of much. Of course, a woman, yeah. A woman, yeah, I know. To become a woman town planner, to be, become a registered, I mean, sorry, to become a member of the association, first of all, you have to be a town planner, a registered town planner. Mm. And financially, you have to be sound, as in you have your financial capability in the institute, that is, you have to pay your dues okay. regularly. Okay. So that automatically, you are a member of the association. There could be an honorary, mem honorary member, okay. and there could be uh, um, some of our member could be, not necessarily to be in Nigeria, you may be out there, maybe you are abroad, but if you are a registered time planner already, you have, you have, if you have registered with our professional body, that is the Nigerian Institute of Time Planners, and you are a financial member, automatically wherever you are, you are a member of the mm. association. Because like we have some of our members out there that normally communicate and they are also on our platform. Wow. wow. So there's, there's, um, being a member of MITP as a woman makes you a member of the association automatically. Yes. There's no um, process or form to fill or something like no. that. Wow, no process. That's interesting. So as a chairman, um, what is the composition of the other executive committee or other executive members? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we have, I, am the, I am the chairman, the national chairman. I have Mrs. Wikia Fatch as the first vice chairman. Then I have Dr. Mrs. Vera Okoye as the second vice chairman from the East. I have uh, Mrs. Gift Okonkwa as the general secretary. I have Mrs. Miro Danladi as the assistant general secretary from the North. Gift is also from the East. Mm. I have Mrs. Rachel Akitunde as the public relation officer. I also have um, <coughs> Mrs. Ibukunluwa Olaiwola as the financial secretary. And uh, because with the interim, we, we were given interim, we were, uh, in, an interim bylaw was approved for us to operate on. So it's only those officers that were approved. Mm. So we have to co-opt a member who also vie for the position of treasurer then, when we were contesting. We have to co-opt her as the bookkeeper because of the importance of a treasurer in an association. Mm. So her name is uh, Mrs. Yabode Ulufesobi. She's been performing very wonderful within, within the association too. So. Um, I think that answered this question. So I, I can see that uh, these members are spread across the different regions of Nigeria. Why yes. is that? I mean, you mentioned um, town planner gifts from the east. From uh, the east, the from the north, from, from the west. The north. Yes. Um, normally, in, the, in, the, in our institute, we are very much aware of the need to cut across the whole region. So that we will not be biased. Mm. That, so that other members, other region will be well captured and with well taken care, they will be well represented mm. in the association. Mm. Okay. Now, it is believed that um, women at one point or another will need the assistance of men. So, as an association of women, you know, town planners in Nigeria, how do you intend to? Um, handle the situation when it arises that you probably need the assistance of uh, male town planners in your association. Thank you very much for that question. Already, um, in the as part of our agenda, we have a creative agenda agenda that was designed during the beginning of the period. The creative agenda in the sense that we have the seed part of it is collaboration. Mm -hmm. That is, we collaborate with the elders, young 
male fashion of the institute, other professional bodies, as much as possible. Then the hard part of it is we prepare a rolling plan to sustain the growth and development of the association because uh, an association without a plan or any individual without a plan, plan to fail. So we are very much aware of that. Being a town planner, we have a plan, we have a rolling plan that was designed from the beginning of the tenor. Then uh, the E part of it is to educate, to ensure we empower and educate uh, our, as, I mean, uh, the, um, the female version of the profession as well as the young version of the profession. Mm. Then the A part of this is awareness. We carry out sensitivity and awareness as much as possible. Then the T part of it is create, I mean, the T part of it is technology development. We, we are able to design, sorry, we are designing a website. Oh, wow. Yes. It's almost ready. Before the investiture on 12th of May, it will be ready. We are going to launch it. So we have the T part. Then the, the I part is the innovation and creativity. So the V aspect of the creativity is, is vulnerability survey. Because we, as an association, particularly being a women association, we need to be interested in the welfare of our members. Mm. And we need to ensure wherever they are, they are safe. Mm. Mm. So it's going to be it's part of our work agenda during my period. Then the E aspect of it is ethical conduct. Ethical conduct is in the sense that we need to guide our members to ensure that they embrace their ethical conduct and ensure that they are not misguided and mm. also ensure that they are working by the rules. Mm. Yeah. Working by the rules you of the association, thing, yeah. working by the rule of uh, uh, the institute and working by the rule of their, their workplace. Their workplace. Mm. That's the aspect of it. Then the S, because we had added S, oh, wow. so that we can have a sustainable mentorship, wow. which is wow. very important. So in ensuring a sustainable mentorship, we had a platform where we have the young planners and the elderly ones, mm. the professionals, the, the academics, where we sort of educate our young ones mm. on this platform. Regularly, um, some of our senior colleagues, even myself and uh, my colleagues, we do interact on this platform. There are questions from the younger ones, answers from every one of us to assist them, to guide them in their dealings. Mm. Wow. So it's a, it's, a, it's a sort of a mentorship for them? Yes. Mm. Okay. Then so, you also have a question that how do we collaborate? With yes. Men. Yeah. Like I said, the first one is collaboration, which is very important. There is no how we are not an island. No one is an island. We can't work alone, and they can't work alone. They always need us, and we need them too. Mm. So, uh, consultation with our elders, consultation with the president, we carry out that regularly, and then to even help us, we have. Uh, Excuse me. We appointed one of our male, male uh, member of the institute, our stamp planner, Moses Obule, as our special advisor. Mm. So whenever we have issue, we hold, I always consult her. I will consult him. Some of our members consult him too, because he's been in the national body for a long time, and I think he knows his way. I would say, so we always consult him, so we are not an island, we work together. Let's take a commercial break and we'll be right back.
Cable Plus Property, the hub of professionals in the built environment and the number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed property. At Cable Plus Property, our aim is to ensure that all Nigerians and non-Nigerians have at the tip of your fingers, free of charge, all information on landed matters. We provide you with all information you need to know about land procurement, land documentation and development, planning permit procurement, building construction and so on. Join us today for free by subscribing to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on our social media platforms and check us on our website www.cableplusproperty.com. Together, we shall make our environment better. Spend and build right. Welcome back to the program. This is still the Cable Plus Property Show. Now, I can see that, you know, you have two feathers in your, on your cap. Yeah, you are the national chairman of the association of women town planners in nigeria as well as the director of town planning services in the Lagos state ministry of physical planning and urban development so let's talk about that part of your work life um how how are you making women in your department inclusive of physical development matters how are you um bringing them together you know to be involved thank you very much for that question Yes, um, in my department, like, uh, let me first of all commend my Honorable Commissioner, Town Planner, Dr. Idris Salako, mm. and my Permanent Secretary, Engineer Mrs. Koshigbi, as well as my Special Advisor, Dr. Olajide Babatunde, and uh, Honorable Ayuba, as well as the Human Resource Director, okay. Mrs. Dokumu Adebite. Why I want I'm commending them is it's like they have seen the vision that I'm going to be the national chairman of women and planner. Mm -hmm. I will tell you I have seven, I mean thirty seven percent women of women mm -hmm. in my department. Wow. That's why I'm commending them. Because it's like they, they were able to achieve the affirmative, um, affirmative gender sensitivity mm. as recommended at the national level. That is 35%. Mm. Then I will commend His Excellency too, because in his uh, executive team, he was able to reach that level too. That is um, the executive governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu. Because it was able to reach the percentage too. Mm. So um, with this percentage in my department, one thing about me is that I'm not biased. Okay. I carry everybody along, not only women. If you ask my department, they will tell you I'm not biased. But as much as possible, for me to have that percentage of women in my department, uh, we were able to work hand in hand, particularly to achieve the goals of the association. And as well as to embrace sustainability and ensure we have, a, ensure they, they, are all, they all work in their own capacity professionally and apply their integrity in whatever they are doing. So, um, what, how, uh, what are the services? Yeah, what are the services your department offers to developers, or developers rather, or someone who might be interested in purchasing a piece of land in Lagos State? How do you help such people? Okay. Yeah, my department is um, Department of Physical Planning. That is Physical Planning Department. We engage it in in. Uh, planning information, site selection, then evaluation of advocacy reports for different development. For planning information, the department is saddled with the responsibility to issue planning information to guide intending development developers okay. on what and what is permissible within a zoned 
area because we have zoned area, we have permissible use for each zone. Mm -hmm. You can have a residential zone. There are other uses that are permissible within the residential zone. Or industrial zone, there are other uses that are permissible and there are some that are not permissible. Then for site selection too, we engage in a feasibility studies of projects in relation to the location they want to site the facility, both for government and private uses. We guide intending developers to ensure that uh, each uses are cited in accordance with the rules and regulations. We have operative development plans that, we, that, is, that guide the operation of the de department. So with this operative development guide, we have different model city plan, we have uh, regional plans that we use to conduct, to evaluate each uses. Then uh, the, what, let me go further. The only thing an, a developer needs to do is just get a survey plan, a valid survey plan, write an application to the permanent secretary with your valid phone number. Then uh, you make a submission, you'll be invited for site inspection. And it's free. Mm. It's free of charge so that we can encourage as much as possible people to obtain planning information so that they'll be guided in their dealings. So all that a developer is requested to provide as a document is the survey plan? Survey plan, hmm. application letter, and valid phone number. And there's no payment attached? It's free of charge. Wow. Okay. Thanks to the Lagos State Government. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so between the year 2014 and 2020, you were the head of the Lagos State Planning Information Center. Um, so what, what, what are the major functions of the center and how can the public benefit from it? Because as you know, this show is primarily for the enlightenment, sensitization and education of the public to provide them with information that they need to know about, you know, land and landed properties. So how uh, does that center, the Lagos State Planning Information Center, help them? Okay, thank you very much. Um, Lagos State Information Center is saddled with three basic responsibility. Okay. That is um, archiver and retriever, electronic archiver and retriever of planning document. What I mean by electronic archive and retrieval of the planning document is that the department will have to archive all the existing and the new planning document, that is a planning permit, a model city plan, and so on and so forth. After archiver, the individual can apply. Maybe you, uh, your document get, got lost, and you need a copy. In this department, you can apply, but that is at a fee. Okay. You can apply for your document, and you'll be given. So, um, apart from electronic um, archival and retrieval planning document. Okay. Then, um, we also, the department also engage in the automation of planning permit planning, physical planning process generally. What I mean by automation of physical planning process is e-planning. That is, uh, the department is in charge of the design and deployment of e-planning process for Lagos State, which uh, we have partial automation in process and the full automation is also on its way. Then the, the third one is the GIS integration with physical planning process. That is uh, the graphical information system. The department tried to um, integrate planning process with the graphical information system so that we can have an enhanced planning process within the state. 
-hmm. So um, basically, the center can help an individual retrieve their lost documents at a Definitely. Point. How can women town planners assist in the economic development of our nation? Being the chairman of the Association of Women Town Planners. So uh, let's see, I'm asking how does the association contribute to economic development of Nigeria? Thank you very much. Like I mentioned earlier that um, women need to be guided with our core values. When you have value, when you have values that guide you, you'll be able to achieve more. Um, like I said, you have to be professional in whatever you are doing. We need to uphold our integrity, work as a team, partner with other professional bodies. If we are able to achieve all this, we need to be inclusive. So if you are able to achieve this, you have achieved a better nation. That is just it. Speaking of collaboration, you mentioned earlier that um, apart from the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners or the male town planners in NITP, you also collaborate with other professional bodies. In what form do you do this? Consultation. Okay. You know, we, we are new. We are new. We are just, we are not yeah, even up to a year. Exactly. So we collaborate with them, we take advice. We participate in their activities. Mm. So. Okay. so my next question is, as a chairman of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria, what message do you have for female students, female young professionals, even practicing <sighs> professionals, you know, um, considering how traditionally mm. or ideally the society is already set against the female folks you know uh, there's already a bar set for you so seeing you as the chairman now i think that that's a lot of encouragement and motivation so what pieces of advice do you have for such young female people yeah thank you very much um to get to this level is not very easy i can imagine but being focused being determined is the key word. Mm. And uh, definitely there will be challenges, but we should not allow the challenge, challenges to overwhelm us. Mm. We should ensure we uphold, like I said, I keep saying, uphold your integrity. Why do you keep saying that? I'm yes, it's very, it's very important. As a woman, when you uphold your integrity, uh, you'll be able to move forward and um, you'll be able to achieve more. And you also know that you are a woman and you don't want to be rubbish. You have your aim, you have your objective. So follow it to the letter. Don't Allow any side attraction to derail your progress. It's very important. And for young ladies out there, but particularly those that are in this profession, mm -hmm. I want to implore them that they should please and please. Since they have decided to be a time planner, to read time planning, or whatever profession they choose to study, they should be focused. There is progress. They should just believe there is progress in whatever they are doing. And they must attain this progress. Not by enemies, but, but, but by professionalism and integrity. I can see integrity is one of your core values. Yes. So I want to ask you a very interesting question, yeah. Um, Seeing how you've grown far in the profession and we cannot take away the fact that you're a woman and there, there's a lot of um, stigmatization and um, 
you know, preferential treatments, belittling, and all of that. And you also have roles to play as a mother, as a wife, as a sister, and all of that. So how are you able to put all of this together and get to where you are today? <laughs> how are you, are you able to manage all of this? Because this is really a lot of motivation yes. for women out there. That's why I'm, I keep saying integrity. Mm. When you have integrity, nothing will distract you. There may be oppressions. When you have your integrity and you are focused on what you want to achieve and where you are going, nothing will distract you. Just be your person. Be who we are. Don't look at any side talk. So you're saying that it's possible for a woman to, you know, manage everything altogether, excel in your career, do well in your family, and still have a beautiful relationship with your spouse? Yes, yes, sure. That's impressive. Okay, so uh, briefly, in what ways do you want women to support the efforts of the Lagos State Government in physical development matters? Participation. How can women support? Participation. We need to come out. We need to come out from the shed. Because, like, before now, women are not always seen in the front. In the back seat. They are, we are always at the back seat. But thank God now is a new story. So, we need to come out more to embrace our profession. And also ensure, and also ensure um, wherever we are working, we work diligently. We make our presence known, not just to be there as a figurehead. We need to enhance ourselves too, because when you enhance yourself, you'll be able to work more and be able to achieve more. Yeah. Enhancement is also key. We need to enhance ourselves. We need to enhance ourselves. We need to, if there is a course we are supposed to take that will enhance, that will make us a zero, we should take it on time. We should not procrastinate because if you procrastinate, another thing will come up. So it's not easy combining home with office work and the educational aspect, but we have to take it. It's just for a while, it's not permanent. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, um, quickly, I'd like you to say ah, something sweating. about the Cable Plus property and Devil. You know, any advice you'd like to give? I want to say thank you for the interview, for the audience you granted me today. And at the same time, I want to encourage you to do more. To continue to do this and uh, so that uh, the public can be more enlightened about how to go, how to handle property issues, mm -hmm. and how to handle construction of buildings. Mm -hmm. So, I say kudos to everyone. Thank you very much, ma'am. And congratulations mm -hmm. again on your forthcoming investiture. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I trust that you enjoyed the conversation with town planner Mrs. Bello Risikats Bukwala, the current national chairman of the Association of Women Town Planners in Nigeria. Of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, like the video, and share with friends, family, and colleagues. Also, head onto our Facebook page at Cable Plus Property. Follow our Instagram handle at Cable Plus Property. My name is Oiza, and I'll see you again.